Hey guys, welcome to another session of our BTL. We got some dev notes, October and November update preview notice. Some cool stuff going forward. Of course, I think these net dev notes are definitely something that we look forward to. It's that uh, I always mention the carrot on the stick, and people are probably getting sick of this analogy, but the carrot on the stick is a pretty good analogy. Throw the carrot in front of you, and uh, it just you know allows you to kind of carry on. If you are a player that is kind of bored of it, these dev notes are probably one of the most exciting things, I would say. Like, if you're bored of the game, rather, just the grind. So anyways, first things first, uh, October 31st, update preview information. Uh, there's a couple subjects covering that uh, coming on the next patch. So next week, uh, I know I'm making this video a bit late, but uh, I just wanted my, my thoughts out there if for people who care about my thoughts on this. But pet system, first things first. Based on these designs, I mean, they put a lot of uh, art, artwork into this. So I'm pretty sure that what we're seeing, even though they said that uh, the above image is still in development, may appear different upon release. Even though it says that, and I always like that they, they give themselves that room. Um, the, this artwork looks like they're they're really cute. They look really different, diverse. So I really feel confident that these are gonna be the ones we're gonna get. If you guys recall that when one of the previous uh, earlier dev notes when pets were kind of uh, I would say the second dev note where the pets were kind of previewed they used all the the new monsters like the two star fodders like the the carbuncles and whatnot as the pets and those were definitely now compared to this stand-ins because they were already art that was created but these are new new art and even just the the fact that they're like more like chibi um, it makes it more believable that they are the pets because they got a different type of art style going for it. Um, I mentioned this uh, this 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 uh, armored thing. Um, um, hold on, wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for the the patch notes. Actually, this one looks like a like a like a, t a potato, like armored potato. I really love that. I'm gonna I, depending on what they do. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna raise that one. That's pretty cool. The animals are cute too, but I really want that armored potato. Looks like some kind of cyborg cyborg robot thing um yeah so originally uh based on the reading originally they had three types of pets so lobby pets story pets and battle type pets um they realized that uh, the story pets and the battle pets are kind of similar in terms of roles and functions so they now are saying at least going forward we can expect this hopefully by the next patch uh two types of pets so lobby pet which will continue to help with like you know I, gold and gifts or something like that uh, I think it's over time um, you just have to go and tap them so like this kitty cat in this uh, image preview as you see here uh, sleeping on the stool he's got a little fish he's thinking about a fish but it, it has a speech bubble it's like hey this is the gift like it's, this is ready um, again of course uh, Smilegate always giving themselves that room that you know so people aren't like hey you promised this um, they're saying that it could be different upon release. So some speculation room, but I think we're getting really close that more or less it's going to be the way it's kind of laid out, um, which is cool. And then the battle type pets will be the ones that will allow you to repeat the battle. Now, what's interesting is that I think um, they, they're introducing a, a system. I think it's unnecessary, but that's my opinion. They're interesting, uh, in introducing a new currency called Homemade Snack. It's this little image here. Um, here, it's a, From far away, it looks like a USB. Um, but I know that doesn't make any sense. It looks like a USB stick. Um, but that thing is a new currency. So apparently, you can get this from, like, from chests from hunts from adventure rewards and i think you can buy them from the shop um yeah like, oh uh i think it's like hoochie hoochie shop or something like that i read that somewhere but regardless it's an attainable obtainable um currency which makes me think like okay so it could be it could be good and bad and I feel that this this feature is a bit redundant. So I kind of expected the repeat battle to just be like, okay, how many how many skystone do you want to use? How many leaves do you want to use? Or or how many or, or rather just set how many times you want to run and this will equal X amount of leaves. Do you want to do this and you say yes and then it would just go? You could stop at any time. I would just expect that because 
I think that just makes sense. But adding this currency, there's a there's there's either a problem or a redundancy to this feature. One, if the currency you use to allow you to repeat the battle, you if you can get them a lot, then let's let's say you run um fifty runs and in those fifty runs, like the rate of it, rate of you getting them is like I don't know one point five times. So let's say at the end of this, you get like seventy five. 75 so you'll never really run out so what's the point of it if it was that case but because they introduced the currency if it's not the former it's most likely the latter as in you might not get enough so so to me the that feature i'm hoping they'll change it by the patch but we'll see how it is if you actually let's say you do 50 runs but you only get 40 back then you can't do repeat battling then to me, that feels like the feature is redundant. Like then the pet, technically in the battle section, the battle pet would be kind of useless. So again, I don't know how this is going. This is just, this is where, where my train of thought is. I'm just, I'm not hundred percent sure on this. You get it, I think get too much or just enough, which would just, then don't bother with the homemade snack or you get too little, which then it becomes another kind of wall you have to do and this game has too many currencies too many aspects of grind that i'm not sure if it's worth grinding for homemade snack so you can repeat grinds maybe it makes sense so like it's forcing players to you know still have to interact with the game i can kind of see actually you no know, now that i think about it as i was saying that i was thinking about it on the spot now that i think about it i think maybe it makes sense so they're forcing players to still interact with the game in a manual auto way you know what i mean maybe We'll see. We'll see. Um, so yeah, gift acquisition is the lobby type. Repeat battle is the battle types. So based on at least the release information we have here right now, um, those are the two functions that they have. So gift acquisition is the only function for the lobby. Repeat battle is the only uh, function for the battle one. Okay. Um, in a previous uh dev note they were saying that pets may give give like different types of attributes they, they mentioned it here as well but they didn't get further into it um which 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 hopefully they they maybe just missed it but in a previous uh dev note they mentioned that you know maybe some pets will give you more hunt drops so like hunt material um some will give you more gold gold drops or something like that um it wasn't exactly mentioned here specifically uh, those things again. So, but they do talk about um, increasing level through enhancing, and then like using other pets for ingredients, so they get like more, more, uh, more skills. So you see, they this inherited skills based on this uh, this image here. I'll just I'll just do my uh, uh, snippet tool. Uh, inherited skills. So there are skills that they have, but again, they, they didn't go further into detail on this dev note. So we will see. Since this is only a week away, there's not much you know that we have to worry about. But if that is the case, um, I was talking to uh, Code from Ambition, and he was saying that oh yeah, he's pretty much like stopped hunting until the pets are released because he mentioned it, and I totally forgot about it to be honest. But he mentioned like he was reminded that some of them might give like hunt drop rate up or something like that, like the 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 material again. And he was saying that it's kind of pointless if you're gonna like at least the free energy and the leaf and stuff. Use the free energy, of course, you get per day. But like the ones that the GM sent to your mailbox or whatever, the ones that don't have expiries. I think Code is saving it for these pet drops. Which after he reminded me, I actually started doing that as well. So hopefully, hopefully the pets do introduce some sort of like drop rate system or even gold, because then by then all the energy that you accumulate now you'll get some more benefit from it. So if you are watching this video or you're again live stream, um, and you you hear this, you know I think it's it's a pretty good idea, um, especially if you're kind of like half like free to play maybe dolphinish, um, you save your resources now and you'll get more back later. I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, this so so this thing here with um, adopt pet um, again this is uh, is interesting um, the currency again a new new currency um, you have to adopt them um, now how do we get this currency is it free does it drop 
Um, actually, I think it mentioned it somewhere. I may have not, uh, may have forgotten about it. But actually, I don't think it, I don't think it actually mentions it directly. But, um, yeah, the Adopt Pet itself, because you can see a currency there. Although this uh, developer account has an 84 previewed, Adopt only costs one. Um, oh yeah, it says this, yeah, Pet Adoption, uh, tickets can be purchased from the shop. So again, what is the currency used to purchase this? Is this gold? Is this sky stone? Um, can we get this currency from other means? Uh, not said here, but uh, depending on the cost, I mean, I, I think I think eventually the pets will be worth it. But I'm I'm pretty sure there's a wait. It's from Hoochie in Labyrinth. Yeah, there's something from Hoochie and Labyrinth, but I don't think it's this. I think it's, um, yeah, it's just the food, right? Yeah, it's, oh, it's a, oh, it's the pet food, I think. Yeah, you, I think you're right. The pet food or the, the repeat battle one. But I don't think it's the adoption ticket. So yeah, based on this preview, at least it says from the shop, and this is not the secret shop. So most of the things in the shop does require you to spend leaf, or sky stone or some kind of other currency that you have to grind so ancient coins conquest points etc so not it's going to be a gold type of purchase i think but it depends on where they put it and uh is it going to be a weekly thing we'll, we'll see a lot of speculation i have no problem with this as long as i think the currency is like kind of relatively fair um again otherwise yeah pretty cool i'm pretty hyped for the pets because the they're they're really cute so <laughs> it's really cool uh, memory imprint improvements. Uh, my thoughts on this. Some key key highlights, and they mentioned this on a previous dev note. They were saying that uh, the they wanted to have a self imprint with some different like effects, like enhancements to like skills or something like that. Um, originally, and then this was about like two months ago when we when we read that original note uh, on this subject. Um, they said they canceled it here in the notes. They, they've canceled that idea. Uh, the reason is because of the exclusive equipment, and and they, and, they, and then they apologize, saying that uh, you know we apologize for our errors. Hopefully, you'll be understanding about this. And I totally get it. I think it's it's totally fair. Um, and and I think they're right. Like so, for example, since Charles got his exclusive equipment, he's been more OP than ever. He was already really really strong for almost any type of guild war comp um and uh, after he got his exclusive equi equipment he became even better so imagine um people who especially whales um especially whales this would affect it more the the distance between let's say a free-to-play player uh, wanting to be competitive would stretch even further because they may not have the luxury to get a charles at a triple s but you know but they could farm technically farm for the exclusive equipment and so much so that eventually you will be able to craft the the max stat version of the exact skill you want exclusive equipment for the hero you wanted so it was a good idea i think for smilegate to kind of pull that one back a bit and saying that uh, with the exclusive equipments if they had the imprint concentration uh, which is what they're calling this feature the imprint concentration uh, also enhance a skill that would be pretty pretty broken i mean it, it doesn't even matter if the skill enhancement was really broken just think about any type of additional benefit on my charles example and you would kind of understand what i what they're what they're trying to talk about so totally on that uh, same point uh, as you can see in the image here um imprints that have a different stat benefit for the rest of the team may not be the exact stat going into the hero itself when you go imprint concentration so the they give us examples in text as well but you can see it very clearly in the the image itself attack imprint two slots for uh lilius um but it's health for herself so it could be anything um we could even get some salty ones we were we were joking about this on uh, discord earlier um, because I have triple S Luna, which I pulled for, and I have a triple S Kron, which I didn't want, but I do have it. His AOE imprint is a uh, health, I think, ten percent, ten point something percent health to the full team. Very useful, I would say. 
So I would say like <laughs> I was joking like in before that his uh, imprint concentration is like effect resistance. Well, I know, no, some may argue like, well, actually, effect resistance on K1 is actually pretty good, but I'm just saying that it could be salty, right? It could be kind of bad. So we'll have to see. I'm definitely interested to see uh, who's getting what, um, because uh, yeah, it could. It, it could make uh, some differences in team comps. What I also like about it is also that it can throw just a bit of differential in people's defensive comps since you don't know what exact like imprint. Are they running like imprint release or are they running imprint concentration? Imprint release being the AOE one or what we had before. Uh, oh, this is the e, uh, this is the Hoochie Shop thing that uh, Jazz you were talking about. Ego Fragment. So in order for you to actually do imprint concentration, you have to get a thing called Ego Fragment, which is again, another currency. Now, all my love to Smilegate, and I love their game, I love the way they're going. I, I personally just think that so many currencies, it's so tiring, and I don't know, like some of them feel like they're just added because they could, and I don't know if they added more functionality. I get the Ego Fragment portion, it's kind of like them having like a, a gold lock to people like just re-gearing and re-artifacting without a cost i get it so it's just like you know you can't just like switch back and forth back and forth it has to cost something i can i get that um but uh yeah so you can purchase currency from the shop also a rare chance to find in other occasions so as an unknown uh and such as Ho hoochie's pop-up shop so i think ego fragments based on this being on hoochie's pop-up shop and the fact that rare chance to find it it means that the ego fragment is going to cost quite a bit. That's my thinking of it. So, because it, it, it technically is a direct buff to certain heroes, there are some heroes you don't really care about the, the AoE imprint. Let's say, uh, depending on the team, but let's say uh, Green Bazaar. So Earth Bazaar has a effectiveness, AoE. Maybe you're running like everyone that's like, uh, I don't know, a cleave team. Um, well, actually, you know, it depends. It depends on the team comp again. But but let's just say like you have a hero, you always use them for a certain function, and the imprint that they actually give to the AOE doesn't really help. Perhaps the 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 imprint concentration would be a lot better. So I get that that the ego fragment has to be kind of rare. So you can't just like go like okay, go down your list of heroes and everybody get an ego fragment and everybody goes imprint concentration because it suits your needs for that time. So again, um, for this currency, I actually say that I'm 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 on board with it. Makes sense, but uh, I don't know about the hoochie shop thing, man. Please, please stop it. Just give us a mola, an additional mola for free. Like you know, like like randomly, just give it to us. Just don't give us the hoochie shop. Unlike imprint release, imprint concentration applies to hero. Okay, so that yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm mentioning about the art section here. So devotion skill effects. So now it displays the icon on who has what. Um, while it's almost not even necessary, I love the fact that they added these graphics. I have to hand it to them. Like, Smilegate does a really good job, or a Super Creative uh, does a, does a really good job of actually like making things like look really technical, functional, but not over the top. Um, I know games, and I'm not gonna mention the names, but I know games who are just like they're doing, cool, like I'm doing air quotes, cool design things because it's like the trend or because they think people will think it's cool um but where smilegate does it i think there's there's functionality in it and also an elegance to it so it's not shouting out hey notice me but anyways as it's coming from a, I'm a from a, my, my work background that's why i'm picking on these things uh let's see here that's fine okay so that's pretty much it yeah so it will be applied for all heroes going forward so three star five star all the way to five star i mean uh, so it's pretty good. Another thing I have to say though, that uh, this updates will be made to the memory imprint will affect the balance of the hero and uh, can be adjusted according to an ongoing balance patch. I like this. What they're doing here is opening up a flexibility for them to, to kind of like, how do you say this? Tweak things without much like, you know repercussion so without people going hey 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 you tweak this so based on like you know their track record of actually balancing heroes i think they're doing a pretty good job um they're doing a pretty good job 
um, making like older heroes, like outdated heroes, more exciting to reuse again. So players will always like always be valuing uh, valuing all of the heroes they pull. I think that the the way that they set this self up is really good for future banners as well because every every single player now like we're all like oh like you know people thought like oh ml robbie is crap you know maybe she'll get a buff so they pull for her anyway so from a business perspective it's really smart for them to do that from a user perspective it's really good for them to do that so again you will never have like oh this meta is changing so therefore i can't use this hero ever again every single player i know that's now used to the way smilegate does things is saying that oh yeah okay we'll hope they get a buff so like for example says is kind of underused right now hopefully he gets a buff ml says was like a meme he got a buff now everybody's gonna be like oh man i need ml says so for them to be able to have this section um possibly in balances so that you can i, I just like the fact that they have more more things to tweak um and because they said that it's possible that the imprint concentration may be adjusted in the future as well i have a feeling that exclusive equipments may also be part of any type of balance like what whatever smilegate feels that it is, is necessary they'll be able to nerf and buff exclusive equipments as well and to be honest i think those are really good ways to go because I think it costs a lot more, to be honest, for them to balance a hero in terms of the repercussion from the community. If they balance it badly, people are going to be really pissed. If they ba balance it too OP and people like miss certain banners, they're going to be really pissed. But if it's like, exclusive equipment that you can grind for and they they tweak that, um, it's less, less, less harmful because it was te 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 technically less, less uh, valuable. Um, in that sense anyways that's just my thoughts on it although although they didn't talk about the exclusive equipment so forget my forgive my ranting but i'm just talking about like future uh possibilities i think it's it's very good <laughs> freak chow says charles exclusive equipment was justified <laughs> yeah yeah i i, I used the charles example but i think before you came on the stream overpowered but all right so november update here we go part two Equipment conversion. Um, they mentioned this before, but again, it does take some new currency. Again, um, dependent on the equipment and the currency used. I think the currency, they just mean the gear itself. So it's not like some additional currency. It only did scare me though, because of that. Uh, that Here, let me, uh, let me do this um, uh, snippet tool again. The only, the only thing that's, what, what, what happened? Oh, it's here. Only thing that scared me was this this icon. It felt like some new, I don't know, some new currency. Because because if you look at the if you look at the UI, sorry, I'm gonna go into a bit of a art lesson science class thing. If you look at the UI, this thing I think represents just weapons, and they already have. You know, let me just do a bigger view here. They already have okay main main item stat. Okay, that's attack. So, and then this is a weapon icon. So, what is this icon, right? So that that kind of scared me when I kind of misread, uh, dependent on the equipment and currency used. I thought like, oh my goodness, they're uh, introducing another set of currency. But uh, just so that I don't sound pessimistic, I think what they mean by currency is just the the gear itself, at least based on the based on the the image provided here. They, they, they did mention this before in a previous uh, dev note that if you just fed the alchemist steeple speed set it would only pump out speed set if you mix and match speed and crit it would give you a, a 50 i guess it would be a 50 50 it doesn't matter if you go like nine pieces nine pieces of speed one piece of crit i think it would be 50 50 because the previewed um again the previewed uh, item set is that so they're keeping to their word from a previous uh, developer uh, note here. Um, and what's interesting, of course, it's uh, very important to know is that the level, set, grade, and the main stat is dependent on the equipment and currency used. So what this means, I think, would be like if you fed this only heroic, so purple and epic red, you might get a maybe a, like a 50 or a percentage chance on... Uh, 
Unless you can hold down the set icons and shows you percent chance. No, I don't think so. At least based on based on the based on the image there, it's an it's a main stat. It's a flat attack. So even if you did click on it, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe it gives you some expanded information. I'm not sure. So Pu Yang was just asking about the book, the book icon there. Anyways, as I was saying, I think, I think if you feed this thing ten epic gear, I think it will pump out epic gear. Um, and then based on the the item set randomization there, I think if you feed this like heroic grade with epic grade, mix and match, you'll get a like a X amount of chance to get a heroic versus an epic. I think that's how they're doing it, and I think it's the same for the level. Or the level might be fully determined actually. So maybe you could still feed it like nine T85s, but like one T70, and maybe it will still end up as an 85. We'll we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot to speculate on. But one thing's for sure: if you are grinding for this entire week and you're col you're getting like epic gear, it doesn't matter how salty the roll is. Keep it for this for sure. Um, yeah, this would definitely be good. So the substat. Uh, yeah, you can choose the main stat too. So that is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. The only the substats will be random on generation of this. Now, that's insane actually to me. That's insane. Level set and grade to me is already good enough, but the main stat, man, dang, dang. Um there may be though. I'm I'm going to assume there may be a limit to how many you can craft though a week. Um, based on like you crafting the charms, crafting the catalysts, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I don't think it's mentioned here, but a new currency will be required to finalizing. Ah, okay, so it is. It did say it, so I wasn't. I wasn't crazy. A new currency will be required when finalizing the main stat of the equipment. Originally, we had planned to use catalysts. However, right, I remember this. This will be redesigned due to the fact that catalysts have become scarce from a recent skill enhance. Uh, adjustment that occurred uh, this might bur be burdened to our players we hope the uh, equipment conversion system alleviates the difficulty of getting better equipment okay so the feature itself no problem um even if let's say it takes you forever to get the new currency uh whatever way shape or form that comes in even if it takes you forever eventually you're gonna get better gear because this you can really focus and dial in what you need so already this feature is already better than you know better than not having it okay so no complaints whatsoever now the thing about the the justification of a new currency again to me is a bit silly now again a bit of a precedent because if the new currency is easier to obtain than catalysts then that's good if it's harder to obtain than catalysts then this excuse doesn't really matter and what i mean is they're saying that the catalysts are so hard to get because of the recent skill enhancement adjustments. But the thing is, catalysts are still one of the, I would say one of the easiest things. As in, in eventuality, if you grind enough, you will get them. So, because of because the AP shop and then you being able to craft it now in the Alchemist people. So, catalysts are fairly easy to get. So, this thing about like burdening our players, I'm not 100% sure I'm sold on that. So, this new currency then better in because of the reason better be easier to get than catalyst but again we'll we'll see how we get that but regardless no complaint on my side i'm just you know kind of nitpicking and i apologize if this sounds like i'm being pessimistic about it i love this patch it's still just that's the overlying umbrella for this entire thing world boss um very cool i was saying that oh man look at all those heroes down there um i'm hoping it doesn't lag like whatsoever um i know some on some older phones and even on some older emulators or some or sorry or, or some bad emulators on some older pcs does have a hard time uh dealing with like like s3 animations and stuff like that like the effects that they they do um it would lag on like certain ones like ml ken would be like laggier than let's say like you know uh, ice kisei or something like that um so hopefully it doesn't lag, it doesn't bog down, but I'm pretty sure they figured that out. 
but again, this is uh, this is November patch. So November patch, um, they're saying all of this stuff that I covered in the November section, uh, most likely coming around near the end of November. So we can wait for that. Uh, four heroes uh, per team consists of 16 heroes. Three teams will be of your own, and then one team will be a fellow guild member. Uh, what's interesting is that the... The system is that the guild can't reuse one person's team over and over. There's a limit to the use, which is kind of interesting because you're also coordinating with your entire team. So I'm going to scroll down a bit just to preview. Um, based on the image here, we can see that uh, the guild ranking is 512. So there's a guild ranking. Now, whether or not you get rewards from that, that is, I think, TBD. Uh, but you also get individual within the guild ranks. So you can get better score and how they kind of limited for everybody not to get like, you know, super OP is that they limit the amount of times that you can use your the supporting team. So, so, so let's say, for example, I know that this is not true whatsoever, that I had the most OP heroes, which I don't. I have the most OP heroes. Everybody wants to use my teams, but they can only use my teams for a certain amount of time or a limited so what that would mean is definitely it it continues to have this the essence and the life of what guilds are about where uh stronger players are helping raising up weaker players or, or i mean i mean you could do the you could do the bad thing too just kick out all the weak players <laughs> anyways lame joke <laughs> people in the People, people are a bit weaker in the guild. They're like, Jagan, please, please don't be serious. Please don't be serious. Um, what I meant is that the, I think the, the, the way they're designing this is that everybody's got to work together. So not only does the strong, stronger players have to give obviously like the better heroes, um, and specific for specific fights, um, to support like maybe weaker ones, the weaker players also have to pull their weight so it's not going to be like but yeah the weaker players got to pull their weight because eventually someone is going to use their team based on the way that this is written i'm assuming you know most maybe i would say 70 percent maybe to 100 percent of the team's supporter team will be used by one member or another so that's going to bring a very interesting dynamic in how guilds are ran because because at the moment at least for for the lords for, for my guild um we're, we're we're getting definitely like we're getting more cl we're getting closer we're, we're doing like gear checks and gear reviews and stuff like that it's not to knock down anyone but it's to to help other players saying that hey man you need you need more speed on this hero you need to get this gear on this hero etc so i i really like that um the way i'm reading this at least it really helps uh i think formulate that team play experience again and i think this is where I, and i feel bad for some players and i hear this all the time they they're in guilds and like hey jayan is your guild open and what are the requirements because the guild i'm in they don't communicate you know they don't do all that stuff so I, i'm sorry but, you know and it's too bad that the guilds only have a certain number of slots or whatever but it is what it is and and there are going to be like people create guilds because like you know it's part of the game and and you know people leave and it's not active or whatever but <clears throat> definitely i would say for those guilds that have actually um you know worked really hard and and got together like the community aspect of it what a guild truly should be um they're gonna really have a good time with this i i, I can foresee this right now or you could be salty too if you start doing bad but um another aspect is just that uh um apparently each player will have a different type of um limitation so you can see here um you're just gonna do a, another snippet tool here just highlight you can see here enhanced element um the team there's a limitation like how many how many knights you can use how many or you have to use how many knights how many thieves and then like you know i don't know what this means to be honest but Anyways, it looks cool. It looks cool. It's like all these little little things there. Uh, point bonus, 29%. So you have to meet certain criteria, you know? Um, and apparently, even if it's the same boss, every player has a different one. At least that's based on my reading. I might be wrong. I'm not going to go back and read it. And I'm uh, short on time here. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be very, very, very interesting. Um, this will, you know, continue. I think they said it. Yeah. 
<laughs> is it this note here? It's just a one-liner. We'll make sure to satisfy the desire of raising different heroes for world boss content. Satisfy the desire of raising different heroes. It's what's interesting to me is that most of the complaint is not that, oh, we don't have any desire to raise heroes. It's more of, we don't have the resources to raise these different heroes. So they're talking about satisfying, but we are complaining about the difficulty of actually raising them in terms of gear, mola, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. So it's kind of funny, but I like that one-liner. It made me laugh on my initial reading of this. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, you can see uh, 12 hours left on the boss one month later. So yeah, different bosses back and forth, but that doesn't really matter. Um, given what uh, has been shown, I think it's gonna be like, uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite quite interesting for sure. I mean, look at look at all that, all those people on the map, love it. I think the very last portion, yeah, last portion of this uh, this dev note is the new voice lines. I don't have much to say about this other than the fact that I was surprised to see that the guardians will now have voice lines. So, kind of interested to see uh, what uh, what Arky says because that's I mean that's that's a, like my literal go to. Um, we haven't had an abyss in a long time, so I haven't had to run any other. Uh, like Chrom Cruise and, and all those other ones. Um, and then the unique camping lines, you can now hear their voices, which is cool, it's cool too. Very cool. Um, other than that, I think that's it. That's it. That's it. It's pretty big. Um, we got a lot of features coming, and I'm very excited again. Pet system. So I'm going to end this here. I think I've done enough talking. Um, I'm going to end this for the video recording sake. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments uh, down below, and of course, uh, those on stream. Well, I'll read their comments as well. So I'm going to end this. If you guys have Discord, check out the Discord server. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to YouTube if you haven't. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on the next Reading Between the Lines.